Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Check it out. I just saw this one. I wanted to share with you guys because this one's pretty. I mean, it's just something that could happen to anyone. It really is, you know. It's something that could happen to anyone at any point, I guess, in life. You know, you could be secure. You could have situational awareness. You could do so many different things. But I'm going to tell you, if you put your guard down at one point, this could happen to you. Now, a lot of you guys, and I kind of disagree with this, but a lot of you guys say, well, this would never happen to me. You know, I'm always on alert. And you know what? It is what it is. I guess I'm not. You know, I'm a regular person. I try to have a good situation awareness. I try to always know what I'm doing. I try to always concentrate and make sure that I'm doing the right thing, look around and things like that. But ultimately, you know, I there, there may be a moment in time that something like this could happen. That you could be like, hey, let me walk outside real quick to grab something and bang. This could happen to you. It could happen. This is the reason why I depend on the good Lord Jesus Christ. I am in prayer all the time. And that's ultimately my weapon, right? I continue to pray, Lord, protect me from people like this. Lord, protect my family from people like this. Lord, cover my family with the blood of Jesus. And again, this is not a preaching video, but I'm going to tell you, at one point, you may put your guard down and something like this could happen. Obviously, I'm going to cover a couple tips. I don't want to get so much into it. Let me just share a couple things. We're going to uh, share a video and definitely share your opinions in the comment section below. Before I get into that, check it out. Big shout out to my patrons. Man. You guys are awesome. If you want to become a patron, there's going to be a link down there. And I definitely appreciate them. They help me make videos like this. What do you think about my hoodie? This is not one of those things that I'm going to say, buy my teacher down below. No, Stacy, my wife got me this hoodie. And I think it's awesome. So big shout out to my wife. Also, subscribe to the channel. Share the videos. I appreciate when you guys share the videos. So with that being said, let's hit the intro and let's get started. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's let's just go with it. All right, so check it out. Here's the channel. Make sure you're checking out the videos. We're posting videos pretty much daily. And you know what? It's a lot of fun. So don't forget to check out the channel. And check out some of the last videos that we just did. And let's watch this. This happened October 28th of 2020. Very recently, I just wanted to put out here. Obviously, if you guys got any information or anything like that, make sure you guys contact the right people. So let me set this up and let's play this. Caught on camera, the scary moment two men ambushed a woman invading her Tamarack home and stealing close to $3,000 worth of items. The home invasion robbery happened wow. yesterday at about 9 a.m. Two suspects are seen jumping out of a white Lexus SUV. All right, so let's back it up real quick. Let's back it up real quick. So I want you guys to see this in detail. So essentially, we have a lady that she's walking out of her house. This looks like a fancy car. I don't know what it is, but it looks like a pretty decent car. And if you see right here, you're going to see that car right there, that white Lexus, uh, Lexus up there. And by the way, here's the thing. You know, this lady has camera and cameras are fantastic. I have cameras in my house as well. If you want to check out some of the cameras that I use, uh, obviously, I'm going to link them down below. But the thing about this is that these cameras are great because now we have something. We have information. The police could use this to do an investigation. They have information on the vehicle. They have uh, a lady that walked into front of the car, one of the suspects. You're going to see that. They have more information. Without these cameras, I'm going to tell you, there's none. And I know the cameras is not going to be able to do anything in this case situation, but at least it may potentially stop these criminals for, from attacking other people. If we get the information, we get the faces and stuff like that, we could potentially stop them from attacking other people, right? Not the best thing ever. Obviously, as you can see, this lady is going to be a victim to it. But again, you know, we may be able to stop other people based on these cameras, right? So again, she's walking there. She got her hands, you know, busy. She's like drinking something and holding something else. And like I said, she's walking to the car and you're going to see those people coming out of the uh, Lexus. It was one of those attacks. It was really, uh, um, you know, out of nowhere. I wonder, 
I just wonder if she happens to be a target opportunity. And essentially, you know, they're driving around waiting on somebody to do something. She comes out, boom, she gets target based on the fact that she's outside, she's alone, and she may be potentially too, again, to this criminal, she may be considered a weak target. Now, don't get offended. I'm not talking about none of you ladies out there. You know, I love my wife very much, you know, and, and all that. But what I'm talking about is the criminal mindset. The criminal may see a, a female and they may think that she is a weak target. A criminal may see an older person and may think that he or she is a weak target. That's why I'm always being a strong component or having ladies, older people carry a firearms. Because again, if you happen to lock or any physical abilities, right? Maybe you're older, so you tend to be a little bit slower or something like that. Or maybe you're a woman and you may be overcome by a man, a big dude. You know what? That firearm is always going to bring the whole thing to that level, right? You could be as big as you want to, but if I have, a, you know, my Glock uh, 19 or maybe my MMP shield, that's what I carry. You ain't that big. Trust me. <laughs> you're not bigger than my 9 mil. For some of you guys, you're not bigger than that 40. You ain't bigger than that 45, right? So again, again, pretty big component of having uh, ladies, older people carry a firearm. So again, she's walking to a car. And ambushed a woman invading her Tamarack home and stealing. You see her back is kind of facing to... Uh, to, to the car, which again, you know, that's something that a lot of people may do. You just walk into your car. You may not be thinking that this could happen. And again, it did happen. So that's one of the reasons why we make this video. So a lot of times we're thinking, hey, you know what? This is not going to happen. This is not going to happen to me. So I tried to show videos out here, not to scare you, but just to show you that it could happen. It is a possibility. So when we see things like that, we got to be thinking about those things, right? Walk outside. Here's the thing. Walk outside. One thing that you could do as you walk outside, you could kind of stand by your door. You could kind of stand wherever you are, kind of take a peek outside, see what's going on, right? If you see a suspicious car that is typically not there, maybe wait a couple minutes. Maybe wait enough to walk out. Or if you're going to walk out, have a plan to defend yourself, right? I may see a car out there, but, you know, I'm armed. I'm looking. I feel comfortable. Then I come out, right? But if you're not, just stand by. See what's the deal, right? And again, you know, maybe, and, and I'm going to just say this as a maybe, right? Because having a car parked outside your house may be suspicious, but may not be suspicious. So maybe you're looking in that direction. Maybe you have your cell phone ready to call 911. Maybe, you know, your arm so you know where your weapon is in case something like that, right? How different it would have been if this lady is paying attention, these two guys are running towards her, and she happened to be able to defend herself. It would have played out a lot more different, guys. So again, let's let me come back here and let's watch this. And close to three thousand mm dollars -hmm. worth of items. The home invasion robbery happened yesterday at about nine a.m. Two suspects are seen jumping out of a white Lexus SUV, holding the woman at gunpoint, and then forcing themselves inside the house. The Broward Sheriff's Office says she was tied up while the men rummaged through her things. A home security camera caught a third suspect wow. approaching the home, a woman who says something in Creole before wiping down the door handle and heading back to the car. BSO wants to hear from mm. you if you have any information on this crime. All right, so Creole, so... Caught on camera. Let me see. So, Creole, I believe uh, 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 people from Haiti, Haitians, this speak Creole, I think. Maybe maybe I could be wrong. But, again, there it is. You know, what do you guys think about this case? What do you guys think about the situation? What do you guys think about all this? Just share in the comment section below. Share some things that we could do to be better. If you guys got an opinion, put it down in the comment section below and let me know what you actually think again you know one a situation that could happen to anyone anyone could go through the situation i think the the big component here is to continue to exercise your situation awareness you walked outside you see a vehicle maybe it's not the right call to come out maybe you could wait and another issue here is the the critical component oh again this i think happened in miami oh carrying a gun carry a gun make the decision buy a gun carry the gun Practice with the gun. Have it on you, not not in your purse, on you. 
be ready. Again, you know, it, it would have been, this would have been a really bad situation. This lady could have been killed, but if she had a gun, if she wouldn't know how to use the gun, train with the gun, and all the stuff that we've been preaching here in the channel, this could have been potentially uh, a situation where she could have been saved from all these issues. Anyways, what do you guys think? Put comments down below. And as always, God is in control.